Hello and welcome to Tech Deals Meltdown and Spectre System Vulnerability Part 2. In this video, I have an easy to use tool for you to check to see if your system is vulnerable to the Meltdown and Spectre vulnerabilities. If so, I'm going to take you step by step on how to fix that with both Windows Update and the System BIOS fix. I'm going to show you that here in just a minute. If your system is secure, then you don't have to do anything. If it's not, then you want to get it updated and secure and safe. Link down in the video description below will be part one of this video where I detailed what Meltdown and Spectre are specifically. Go watch that if you'd like more background information. But in this video, it's mostly how do we fix this problem. Now the computer I'm going to be using today is the $900 CyberPower PC. That is powered by an 8th generation Intel i5-8400 6-core 6-thread CPU. I've previously reviewed it. Link to that review down in the video description below as well. That is a great $900 machine. But as it comes out of the box, as with most machines these days, it is not secure against either Meltdown or Spectre. We're going to fix that today in this video. The very first link in the description below is going to take you to this website. What you're going to see here is a screenshot of what it should look like. No, no, and good. Unfortunately, you aren't likely to see this unless you've already followed this video or at least done the steps that you're going to see here. When you download and run the program, this is what it's actually going to look like. And this system, as it comes out of the box, is vulnerable to both Meltdown and Spectre. Needless to say, this is a bad thing. In short, Meltdown and Spectre allow the bad guys on the internet to read all your personal information, including your passwords and encrypted details, online banking, email, online gaming. This is clearly a bad thing. We need to fix it, which is what we're about to do. The first thing we need to do is update Windows. To update Windows, you're going to come down here to the Start button. You're going to click on the Settings icon, and you're going to click on Update and Security. At this point, we need to hit check for updates and let the system update itself. This cumulative update right here that it's currently preparing to download is the one that we want. Update 6892 is the one that actually contains the Meltdown update. This will fix Meltdown. It will not fix Spectre. To fix Spectre, we actually have to update the system BIOS, which we'll do in just a minute. Now, Windows Update is going to take some time to run, and you just need to let it run. It's going to need to reboot your system. When that's done, we'll move on to the next step. Please note, if this does not come up and Inspector still shows your system is vulnerable, you might be running third-party antivirus tools which have not been updated recently and are preventing this update from installing. If you're running something besides Windows Defender as your antivirus, make sure it's fully up to date before you do this. When it's finished, this is what you'll see. It simply needs a restart and then the system will be ready with meltdown protection. With the system rebooted, you can see we are no longer vulnerable to Meltdown, so running Windows Update eliminated half the problem. Now we just need to update the motherboard's BIOS. Please note that as I noted in part one of this video, and as you can see here in the text if you scroll the window down, while Meltdown vulnerability can be fixed in Windows, Spectre requires a BIOS update. Here we are at the motherboard manufacturer's website. You can see we're at ASRock, and this is the Z370 Pro 4, which is what this CyberPower PC came with. What you'll need to do is search for the specific motherboard you have. You may have a different system. Maybe you have a Dell or an HP or Lenovo. Maybe you have a, an ASUS or MSI motherboard. You'll have to find the motherboard that you have and go to their support page. If you need help finding your motherboard manufacturer and model number, I strongly recommend you use a program called CPU-Z. It is a free download, link down in the description below. Run it, click on the main board tab, and it will show you the manufacturer and model number of your motherboard. That'll get you started in trying to find out who, who actually made your motherboard. Now again, if your system is a Dell, HP, Lenovo, etc., you'll need to go to their website to get the update. But if it's a custom, this is one way to find out. Coming to the support page and coming down to the BIOS list, you'll see here there are two BIOS updates dated January 12th. One is for instant flash and one is for updating in Windows. Update CPU microcode to revision 80. This is the CPU security update that we need to download to fix Spectre. Now there are two options. Now not every company provides two options. Instant Flash requires that you reboot into your BIOS, usually pressing the F2 or delete key, going to the BIOS update option, and then booting this off of a USB thumb drive. You'll need something like this in order to actually use that option. The Windows option is easier, and if it's available, most people should probably do that. In this case, you'll run the Windows program as an administrator, and then it will reboot the system and update the BIOS for you, which is what we're going to do right now. We'll hit the global button, 
wait for that to download. While that's downloading, I'll show you the instructions they provide. Basically, if you can follow step-by-step -step instructions, this is pretty straightforward. It downloads into your download folder. You'll need to extract it. You'll need to right-click on it and choose Run as Administrator. You need administrator privileges to do this. It'll run a quick program and say this will restart the system to update the BIOS. You'll see this screen when it's updating. Do not power off during UEFI update. And then when that's done, you'll press Enter to reboot your system and you will be safe and secure. Now, not all motherboards provide this option. This is easy and convenient because you don't have to go into the system BIOS to do it. It does it for you. If you don't have that option, you'll need to follow these instructions instead, which is actually going into the BIOS setup uh, utility, choosing the tool, and usually it's either going to be Instant Flash or BIOS Flash or BIOS Update. It's named differently in every system, and this unfortunately is where you have to do a bit of investigating because you're probably not going to have the exact same system that I do. Once the file is downloaded, I'm going to click Show in Folder because I don't actually want to try to open it. It's a compressed file. We are going to right click on it and choose extract and go ahead and let it extract to the default directory. It'll open a new window. As it noted, right click on it and choose run as administrator. You need to restart the system before updating BIOS. Do you want to restart now? We'll hit yes and the system will now restart and update. I do have to say I wish all manufacturers would provide this option. Not all do and it's unfortunate. Thankfully ASRock does which is really, really nice. As I commented when I reviewed this $900 CyberPower PC, it comes with standard industry components such as this ASRock motherboard, making it very easy to get serviced. If this were a Dell, Lenovo, HP, etc., you wouldn't be able to go directly to a motherboard's website like this. You'd have to actually get that update from Dell, HP, etc., and who knows when they're going to provide updates. They have for their newer machines, but their older machines may take some time to get updated. Please note, this is very important. Do not interrupt that. If you interrupt that, you will not have a bootable computer. And unless you have a high-end motherboard with dual BIOS, you basically have a machine that won't start again until it's been serviced by the manufacturer or you've swapped out the motherboard. Even if it sits there and seems like it does nothing for a while, leave it. Leave it for a long time. Do not interrupt that because if you interrupt it, you may not have a bootable computer. And it's now complete, so we'll hit enter and reboot. We are now booted back up to Windows, and as you can see here, we are no longer vulnerable to Meltdown, and we're no longer vulnerable to Spectre. For those of you curious, the performance good line indicates that this system will not suffer a noticeable performance penalty by having the Spectre update in place. Some older systems, based on 4th gen and older CPUs, will see a noticeable performance hit if they get updated to be protected against Spectre. But these newer systems, 6th, 7th, and 8th generation Intel chips will not. That's all there is to it. The system is now updated and secure. You can now resume using it. The single biggest challenge to getting your computer updated is finding the BIOS and getting it updated. Windows updates fairly easy to run, but picking out your motherboard, picking out the specific BIOS that you need, either doing a Windows Flash or having to press delete to go into the BIOS and do a BIOS Flash off a USB thumb drive, that's the tricky part. Be sure to read the instructions. All the major motherboard companies provide step-by-step -step picture instructions. Even if you think, well, I've used a computer for years, how hard can this be? If you haven't updated a BIOS, please read the instructions and give it plenty of time to update. Don't interrupt it thinking that maybe it's stalled or stuck and you need to try again. If you reset your system halfway through a BIOS update, you may not have a bootable computer. Like this video if you like it, share it with your friends if you loved it. Remember to subscribe to my channel with that big huge red button directly below. Questions and comments in the comment section. Please check the links in the video description. The link to that utility I just showed you right there will be down there. It'll be the first link down there. The link to my first video detailing what Meltdown Inspector is will be down there as well. And then finally, the link to my original review on this computer will be there. If you're looking for a great value on a $900 pre-built machine that uses industry standard off-the-shelf components and gets updated as easy as this, then go check that out. It's really, really nice. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.